నమస్కారం నమస్తే గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఆల్ అమెరికన్స్ ఇన్ యుఎస్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఎర్లీ మార్నింగ్ టూ ఓ క్లాక్ ఆర్ త్రీ ఓ క్లాక్ ఇన్ యూకే అండ్ వన్ అవర్ డామ్ ఇన్ యూరోప్ అండ్ ఆల్ మై డియర్ ఇండియన్స్ ఇట్స్ అ ప్రాతకాల ఎర్లీ మార్నింగ్ in the times of exigencies like buddha once upon a time so the rahu <coughs> the planet is captured by the rahu captured the moon moon is a angel deva putta he is an angel he is a good person but he himself is not a king so each one of them have specific jobs to do just like in google company or amazon you have a hierarchy so we are not alone in this universe as for me way back before he invented a nuclear reactor on afternoon he said we are not alone and steven arkin said aliens and saints said angels so we also have a hierarchy we are on the fifth plane of consciousness above us 26 planes of consciousness below us four planes of consciousness this is our hierarchy one over the other so how vulnerable we are by the evil how great we are by amen or by the god by the allah or a holy spirit or by a Jesus or a prophet or a Rama or a Krishna. Always the turbulence goes on, the war goes on between evil and the God. And he will rule the supreme in the hell and God rules supreme in the heaven, but both are equally. The energy has to be balanced, potential energy. some total energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy so energy balance is required that's why you can't expect only a field of singularity you only can't expect field of entropy entropy in spirituality called prakriti so above our planetary affairs are taken care by the eight directions protectors of the directions eight protectors four principal protectors north direction south direction and east and west direction and as we are moving around the sun there are also other planets so moon is also around moon is moving around us and this is called moon and rahu conjuncture and in this conjunction or it's not a conjunction when i say conjunction it is a it is a two friends come together it's called a conjunction but it is rahu is a demon king he is a demon and moon is a angel like amen and rahu is like not even a fallen angel like lucifer you know maybe under him there are many so once upon a time you know so rahu captured the moon and moon what he has to do and entire world you know, so once moon is captured and everything is getting calm down agitation begins accelerator moon is break breaking mechanism cooling down mechanism agitation comes wars come viruses come everything comes and then so chandima the moon and chandamama chandima in pali language chandra 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 graha chandra so and he went to it is 2450 years ago at the time of the buddha at the time buddha is there so he went to buddha he made a request he said buddham sharanam 
Gacchami Unless you surrender. You know. So your frequency is once you remove your noise, once you surrender, surrender to the silence of the Buddha. And that's what that's what Moon did. He went to Tathagata, he went to Buddha and he surrendered. Buddham Sharanam Gachami Dharmam Sharanam Gachami Sangham Sharanam Gachami This is a way. Unless you surrender to the teacher, Guru, nothing, no one can protect us. That's why when you surrender to the Guru, Guru gives a protection called Diksha, a high protection, Raksha, ordinary protection. Diksha is a higher protection. A Guru initiates and today is, it's not that you may have a Guru's, you may have your own, you know, so worshipping God doesn't matter at all. Even your LKG teacher, kindergarten teacher, your graduation teacher is also a Guru for you. Not necessary, one should have only one guru. We, from wherever we learn, even an ounce of knowledge you gain, wisdom you gain from anyone, he is your guru. You should never consider that one should have only one guru, that is a myth. And Chandima, the moon went to Buddha and surrendered Buddha. There is a way to surrender. And that's why Shankaracharya or anyone first says in India is, guru means surrender. But choose Guru who is fully enlightened. So Moon knows, Moon entire, all the celestial beings knows and what is Buddha. And that's why he went and took refuge, refuge, it's called refuge, surrendered completely. I'm helpless, please help me. So, because when your ego is surrendered, means your noise is surrendered and then everything can be repaired. So Buddha assured him and he called, Buddha is very powerful and he called Rahu. Buddha always, first he tries to, you know, so try to go by negotiation, by compassion. He tells with the compassion, he called Rahu. Hey Rahu, what's the matter? Why you have captured the moon? And you please leave him. You please leave him. And he has not, he has not done any sin, he has not done any mistake for you to attack on him. It is bad on your part, Rahu. And Rahu sensed if someone doesn't listen to the Buddha, and Rahu is an ordinary planet, and he is not like a Baka the Brahma, and Baka the Brahma has very higher power, and he is much for, far superior compared to Rahu or compared to the Ashtadik Palakas or eight protectors, eight directions. You know. And Baka the Brahma and Buddha and has shown him the stars, he defeated him like anything. And then Vishnu Yaiti, more than 100,000 Brahmas and got enlightened. And as Buddha went on fighting and educating the Bhagavad Brahma at the end of the war and the Bhagavad Brahma became the chief disciple, one of the disciples of the Buddha, one of the devotees of the Buddha. And when Buddha gave a discourse and there are hundred thousand and Brahmas got enlightened, Brahmas are higher level. So they are belong to Mahar Loka, Janar Loka, Tapo Loka, Satcha Loka, they belong to, you know, so the four heavens above. So first three heavens in our universe seven paradises, four paradises beyond our universe and three paradises in our heaven. I'm not trying to now 
you know, put you into some dogma. I, you know, so I'm just trying to give you from the per se of the Hinduism or a Buddhism or a Jainism or Christianity or, a, or your Islam. At the end, if you understand it, the same. Only vocabulary changes. The way it is conveyed, it changes. A yogi understands all of them as a yogis. That's why. This is not the time to have any prejudices. This is the time to tune all of us, all our prayers come together, solves the problem. You know, that virus is a dis It is a protein molecule. How that protein molecule is created? Whenever there is a electromagnetic field created because of the world war created so much of disturbed entire electromagnetic field, it created so many unwanted electric pulses because firing of the guns, firing of all those things and electromagnetic field created, it disrupted, it disrupted and so it disrupts the cell membranes of the small beings like insects etc. Like bats, bats are powerful ultrasonic generators. Any electromagnetic radiation we generate, it interferes with those ultrasonics. Ultrasonics are much smaller compared to 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. And the 4G, 5G when it attacks, bats, virus cell membranes gets ruptured. And then any cell membrane ruptured and intermediately, so the process is not complete. When cell membrane is ruptured abruptly, it is not in exercise, you are rupturing the cell membrane to grow the cell, to generate a new cell. But a bad cell when you rupture with the electromagnetic waves or radio waves which are very powerful and 4G, 5G, now you look at Wuhan is the center of the 5G. It is the first city in the world which is completely 5G. With the result, what happened? And the bad cell membrane ruptures. And any process when we don't finish completely, an unripened fruit or any biochemical reaction incomplete, so a intermediate toxin is produced. You know, if your liver doesn't do complete detoxification, suppose only after you know, functionalization, so whatever is produced is a toxic, it has to be again conjugated. So also, so when cell membrane is ruptured, so and it releases those proteins, lipids, proteins. And those proteins are defective proteins, poisonous proteins. Those proteins are called viruses. Everyone knows. A new virus is born. If the 4G has resulted into, say, coronavirus 1, a 5G must have resulted into this. If you observe the Spanish flu or any great events, great flus occurred in the world, you can observe. Whenever it is all disruption of the consciousness, disruption of the electromagnetic field, disruption of our electrons in the cell membrane, now the electron our lungs have become so weak. So we need to protect. So these protein molecules produced because of the distortion and this protein molecule has a bad vibration, bad wavelength and it becomes a virus and it, that's why its affinity is directly towards uh, RNA receptor. What it has, it has only RNA, it doesn't have a DNA, the coronavirus. And of course, in India, we are lucky because it's MR, mitochondrial RNA, our mitochondrial RNA is different. And whereas in America or elsewhere, so the mitochondrial RNA, as a, where it attacks, it is, a, it, a, it, a, it is friendly. But in India, our, uh, our RNA is hostile. So, the less chances of spreading corona in India because we have more better immunity per se. Understand? Our gene itself is having a protecting mechanism means, so maybe in the process of evolution we have that, we have seen, we must have seen all these things at the time of the Buddha and all. So, our blood is carrying that profile. So, it is the latest research just a few days before published by Jawaharlal Nehru University I am talking about. However, so this protein molecule, a virus, nothing but creates and a virus, it ruptures your cell membrane of your bronchiole or a, your pleural liquid, it disturbs, that's all, it is simple. What it does, what it has undergone, it causes the same thing. So how can we attack, sir? 
So if your cell membrane is strong, if your electrons are strong and it can bring harmony into the protein molecule. That's why a sound of silence is to take the system into a uniform state, a uniform state and then, so then when you chant and that sound completely charges your cell membrane and, and it disrupts anything in disharmony can't stay, that virus gets disrupted. That is the way the sound works, that is the way the protection, paritta in Buddhism, paritta or in Hinduism it is called rakshana. These sutras are very, very powerful. These are the formulas. So Buddha asked Rahu, hey Rahu, leave it, leave. So, but Rahu knows, you know, if he does not listen to the Buddha and what is going to happen. You know. And that is why he left moon, he left the moon. And so he said, yes sir, as per your order, I am leaving the moon, moon got liberated. The conjuncture, the conjecture, eff conjunction effect, no more. And then, and Rahu went to his king, he was, he was instructed, he was called by, and he is a king, demons king, Vesajitta. Vesajitta called him, hey, and what happened Rahu? And why you have to leave the moon? How dare? The moon is. How come you left the moon without my order? Sir, oh my dear king, I was called by the Buddha. Oh, are you called by a Buddha? Oh, I didn't know that. As you know, sir, oh, oh king, as you know, if I don't listen to the word of the Buddha, my head will split into seven pieces. And you know, even if you don't listen, the same will happen to you. O oh, king, you are my king. My duty is to protect you, king. And Vesajitta, and he told, Oh, very good, Ra. What you have done is excellent. Never, never go capture anyone who surrenders to Buddha, who surrenders to the pure dharma, whoever is a pure. Never. Yes, sir. But what happens is, you know, so other side, we have a Jupiter, Mars, Saturn conjunction or a Mercury conjunction, people call in the sky. It is very powerful, but Saturn can be good or in positive or in negative, it can happen. So that is the other side positive. So someone, so many people, spiritual people coming together is the effect of this alliance and it is to mitigate the effect of the moon and the Rahu, to liberate the moon. Let us not treat moon as a bad, moon is a god. In fact, we are all the time influenced, night is ruled by moon, day is ruled by sun, cortisol activity sun causes and all our life is nothing but a balance of cortisol and melatonin activity and moon is responsible for melatonin. Sun is responsible for cortisol activity. If you sleep very well, means so moon is working, means melatonin is working, your mitochondria is working. If your mitochondria is working, your circadian rhythm is working, your mitochondria is working, your cell membrane is full of electrons, nothing can disrupt you. But when moon is captured, means circadian rhythm is disturbed, your sleep is disturbed, you can see, listen to the coronavirus, now we are not able to sleep. Your sleep cycle disturbed and during the daytime you are sleeping, in the night you won't sleep. And your cell membrane is becoming weak and this is how the virus attacks. Just understand and you know, so what happens and how the moon influence, everyone knows and entire nature evolved based on the, every species in the nature respects the circadian rhythm except now the human being. Now, so when we say, so moon liberating the moon, Definitely, now it disturbs of the sleep patterns. That's why this virus is spreading like this. So we should be very careful. We should be extraordinarily careful to sleep well. That happens when we liberate the moon. 
and this is the way we have to protect her. so the moon we have to we have to request her. we only have to request we can't fight her. we only have to use buddha's name we only have to use our good qualities we only have to use our prayers hey rahu please leave us please leave us please leave us please leave us please you know if you hold the ak47 gun again is rahu it doesn't work understand only way you can do is so you hold on to his feet you will be kind using the buddha's words if you use is very powerful that is number 1 sutta chandima sutta number 1 then in hinduism we have each planet and its protection so we will one is first is the rahu and then we will seek so the chanting of the moon moon and there are two ways of chant one is called praising of the moon praising of the rahu is very important so first we do is the rahu praising of the rahu and then praising of the moon to protect us then we go into so the any mitigation effects negative effects of the rahu so we go into the rahu and we do that then moon we do after doing that we go into protection the higher protection of the paritta of the sutta skankhana protection of the buddha so a another planet mercury jupiter yeah. so buddha so buddha protects us from he gives us a wisdom he gives us the protection in the time of exigencies and then we will be we will also chant the most powerful given by lord vishnu given by lord vishnu and given by the protectors of the directions who protect the environment who protect us from the viruses who protect us from diseases the the eight protectors of the directions the four protectors of the direction you walk into korea you go to japan you go to any church you will find on the top of a monastery or a temple you will find all the protectors in any religion you have it so but there is system so there is a particular they have their own job to do their job is to protect them. and that is called atanati asutta so atanati asutta is the most powerful sutta that uh, it happens because of the evil forces and you know so not really evil forces they are not called evil forces but they are naughty forces and so these four people so the four direction protectors and they have assembled together one day and in tavatim sai heaven so the next heavens we have three heavens above us three heavens means first heaven as per the christianity as per the islam as per uh, as per hinduism it's called bhuvar loka bhuvar loka so first three planes and so the, the next three planes are having so tavatim sai heaven ತ್ರೈಲೋಕ್ಯ ಕುಟುಂಬಿನೆ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಗಾಡಸಸ್ ಏಂಜಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಟು ಸೀತಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎ ಶಾಕ್ಯ ದ ಇಂದ್ರ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎ ಇಂದ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಸಿಟಿ of the tavatimsa not in the tusita so indra came down capital city is called atanatiya its name is atanatiya so they assembled and then they were discussing how to protect the humans in the event of any evil is evil forces are acting viruses are acting diseases are attacking so how can we it it happens because of the some bad yakshas bad you know so spirits so big belly so they love they love drinking they love wine they love sex they love all these things so everyone is not disciplined so because of them anyone following with a good habits they try to disrupt them so these to protect us from themselves so they have given atanati sutta and after this all these four protectors and under the guidance of indra and vishnu and lord vishnu so then the midnight so that day after they have compiled the entire sutta and the vishnu carried the sutta and entire all this indra and four protectors are ashtadikpalakas head protectors of the direction came to the buddha 
and then Vishnu and told Buddha because Vishnu loves Dharma. Dharma samsthapanardhaya sambhavami yuge yuge. In Pali language, he is called Vishnava, Vishnu. In, in Vaikrutika Bhasha, it's called Vesavanna, the Vaishnava. You go to in Sri Lanka, every temple of the Buddha, first you will have Vishnu. Unless you pray to the Lord Vishnu, you can't see the Buddha. First you have to see because, because of the Vishnu, the deity, and now the Dharma is still over there. That's why now in India many people do Vishnu Paritta or so Vishnu chant or Vishnu Sahasranama they do. So the same Vishnu has given Athanatiya Sutta to protect us from the disease. And then he told Buddha, he went to Buddha and this protection song involves, hey Buddha, before you, seven Buddhas including you, these are very powerful Buddhas. They belong to this Kalpa. And this kalpa and little bit before that. So as long as the dispensation, Buddha's teachings are available, as long as the Sanatana Dharma is available, Yadnya Valkya, Veda teachings are available, nothing can happen. But we have to take, we have to refer your names who protected. And that's how it begins with the seven Buddhas. And then it goes into description of all these yakshas. Who, 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 which yaksha, which uh, a demon king or which uh, angel king, which naughty king and what he is going to do. You know? So what is his role, what is his place, it explains. And at the end it is the 50 shlokas, 50 chants in that small stanza, 50 stanzas. It's made with the 50 stanzas. And that is the most powerful considered in the Buddhist circles, <coughs> the most powerful chant. Invoking these gods, eight direction protectors, invoking Vishnu, invoking and the Buddha. And so no evil can exist and everyone is protected. So this we are going to do today, the 29th, 30th, 31st, first. These four days are very critical. If we can control coronavirus, the multiply every day it is, you can see it is like a fission reaction multiplying like this. It's like a digital count going. It is a time to at least disrupt that growth. If we are successful in, in these four days to bring it down and is we all can, we can save our fellow, fellow humans and our fellow, then we all are one. If someone is dying and how can we be happy? This is the time to, yoga means coming together. And whatever the best available, let us take it and let us use in this moment. The sounds of silence as given by the Buddha, sounds of silence as given by those saints, they are very powerful. So the one who experiences the silence, when he gives you this chant, it is very powerful. We should experience that single state, calm state, samadhi state, dharana, dhyana, samadhi. Like sleep has a three cycles, you know, so REMs and, and non-REM sleep, rapid eye movement, and where there is no rapid eye movement, so where you will generate maximum HGH, IGF, you know, IGF, HGS, so liver, you know, other growth hormones, releases, and then apnea, a small cycle you have. This is how the sleep cycle continues in the night when you sleep, you know, so say 16 apneas you are exceeding, and then it means you have a disease. So your apneas, so the number of breaths that stop should be less than 10, you are very good. You, you, are, you are sleeping very well. It means your circadian rhythm is working. And the more NREM you have, more growth hormone, more protection you have. So your immunity is the highest. And then REM sleep. So we undergo first cycle, second cycle, third cycle always. So also. Of course, we can divide on the four cycles also, but I am taking only three cycles here. What is not REM, what is not REM, not end REM, we will keep in the, under the apnea. Similarly, and this is the deepest sleep, means where you experience delta. Delta means is called 
a good conscious state where you are, if you take your brain waves going like this, your heart waves go like this. Completely harmony and when your mind reaches to this relaxed state and oh, your immunity is the highest. And when you say samadhi, meditation, meditation is to go beyond this. So, and, so for you to chant, to protect yourself, to protect others, first we have to go to this delta state, uniform state. That's why Patanjali first gives, or Buddha first gives dharana, the insight. So dharana is going from top of the head down to the tip of the toes, part by part, part by part. Becoming an observer, what is the dharana? Dharana is observation, method of observation of the world of unconscious, this body. And from top of the head down to the tips of toes, like a Buddha called Pashyana and Vipashyana. Similarly, and uh, in, uh, in Bhagavad Gita, the highest repeated word, if you see, Pashyana. Pashyana means seeing. And Buddha uses, Buddha or, so Patanjali uses, Buddha uses another technical term called Nana. Insight. 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 Looking inside. This is called Dharana. Desha Bandha Chit. Tasya dharana 